So, there's certainly no shortage of items that we need to place into the ductwork. For example, fire dampers, balancing dampers, and end caps just scratch the surface. It's important that we place everything we need into the duct. That way we can depend on the output from Revit reporting on how much airflow is going through that duct. To make another point, if we don't put end caps on all of our ductwork, Revit will think that the air is simply being pushed out the end of the duct, therefore giving us a false CFM report. Let's zoom in on this group of ductwork here. The first thing I'd like to do is cap off these open ends. So simply select your duct. Now let's click this button right here, cap open ends. That one's capped. You can select this one and you can hold down your control key and select this one. And you can click cap open ends there too. Because we did multiple, warning, two caps were added. That's no warning, that's just a confirmation. Close out of here, hit escape a couple times, and we're good. Now let's go to systems. Let's click duct accessory. You have a fire damper, rectangular, simple. So since that's rectangular, I know these ducts are rectangular. So we can put a fire damper right here in this wall cavity and on that duct, and it's going to add it. We would do the same here. Maybe push it down to there. Do the same here. Maybe go inside. Just make sure you're picking up the center line of that duct, or it's going to snap it like a mile below it. Well, a mile's an exaggeration, but you know what I mean. Maybe put one here. Notice it will add it to the correct system. Here. Here. And also notice that it adheres to the size of the duct, which is pretty cool too. There we go. Now I'd like a balancing damper, but I didn't see one over here. So let's go to insert. Let's load family. Now let's scroll out of air terminals. Let's scroll out of here completely. Let's go down to duct. Again, remember, we can click the drop down, go to libraries, go to your region, imperial or metric. I'm going to go to accessories, dampers. I'm going to grab bouncing damper round. Click open. Now let's go to systems. Let's go to duct accessory and we can add our balancing dampers to our little branch ducts. Just skip a few times. Notice if you select one of these dampers, we can rotate the handle, go to a 3D view, zoom in on all of our ducts, set the detail level to fine, if you want to show it thin lines, click this icon right here, which is called Thin Lines. We can see it a little cleaner. Now, if you select that, again, you can rotate it. That's all it's doing is rotating that handle to the correct side. There we have it. That's how we add duct accessories.